Katie Price reveals she's had reconstructive surgery to correct a botched facelift. Shocking pictures show just how much the star has changed over the past 20 years. After two decades in the spotlight the mother of five is almost unrecognizable from the naturally pretty teenager who burst onto the modeling scene at the age of 16 in 1995. With her natural curls and fresh face beauty winning her an army of fans, Katie, now 39, has undergone an array of procedures over the years, including rhinoplasty, a silhouette facelift, 3D veneers, lip fillers and Botox, culminating in her first facelift in 2017 before she's even reached her 40th birthday. Now an expert in aesthetics and cosmetic surgery has warned that the star risks ruining her looks if she continues to have surgery, Dr. Kinzu. An ex nhs surgeon turned aesthetic expert told female the mother of five should have swapped the surgeries for treatments to avoid ruining her looks. In 2007, she looked really good and probably should have invested in more skin treatments rather than surgery, Dr. Zhu told female. Over the past few years, she has had various surgery and lots of Botox and dermal filler, mainly in her lips. However, I don't think she actually looks much better after all that. She is only 39. Where is she going to go from here? Kitty has now had reconstructive facial surgery to correct her previous botched facelift. Although she has not made it clear what the issue was with the original procedure, and she is almost unrecognizable from the fresh-faced teenager who was snapped up by a modeling agency at 16, transforming into a fully-fledged page 3 girl. Katie changed her name to Jordan, threatening her brown girls to bleach blonde locks with hair extensions in 1998. Having just turned 20, the rising glamour model experienced her first taste of cosmetic surgery, boosting her 32 billion Cuban pesos to a 32C before having two more surgeries taking her to an f cup and her appetite for surgery continued. With rumors swirling in 2001 that the Brighton-born model had hit lip fillers. After she was spotted sporting fuller lips during a night out at Kyle White, her look started drastically transforming. With the model sporting dramatic false lashes, bright lipstick and pale hair extensions, in 2004 she confessed her love for Botox. Revealing, I get my forehead and around my eyes Botoxed every six months and I love it. You can't beat it, it just freezes all the wrinkles and that's what you want. However at the time the model claimed she would never have a facelift. Explaining, it never had a full facelift. I've seen what they can do to people and I don't want to go through that. Having given birth to her first child Harvey. Now 15, with footballer Dwight York, Katie was seen entering the jungle for her stint on an a celebrity. Get me out of here that year. The show would introduce her to first husband Peter Andre, who was seen telling the model that he disapproved of surgery. I don't want you ending up like Michael Jackson. It rather you were still with me when you 100 then pop your claws at 42 looking amazing because the anesthetic finally takes its toll, he told her. But even their four-year marriage from 2005 to 2009 did not stop the reality star from slowing down her surgeries. And along with dyeing her hair a dramatic black hue, she continued to dabble with fillers and Botox. In 2007 Katie took her love of surgery to the next level, undergoing rhinoplasty, a chemical peel and treating herself to a 25,000 pound set of new veneers. Oh my god, it burned like hell, she said at the time. The next day I had this hideous red rash on my chin but two days later the WASMT a single spot left, speaking about her nose job at the time. She admitted to liking her original nose, explaining, I liked my nose before and now, if I had it covered with both noses, I would alternate between them. In the years that followed her 2009 divorce from Peter Andre, whom she had children Jr., now 12, and Princess, now 10, with, and subsequent marriages to Alex Reed and current husband Kieran Heller who is father to youngest children Bunny. 4 and Jet 3, she continued her use of fillers. The loose women panelist admitted to even having filler injected into her cheeks to give her a plumper. More youthful look. In 2016 Katie had her eyebrows and lips tattooed, also known as permanent makeup. Explaining that she prefers to go makeup free on a day-to-day -day basis. Additionally the star has regular facial treatments. Last year sharing a bloodied selfie after having a dermal roller micro needling treatment. 
which sees a dermal layer with many tiny needles rolled across into the skin designed to stimulate cells into regeneration and in 2017 took her love of surgery to the next level. Undergoing a silhouette facelift, the procedure is designed to lift a sagging cheeks and blurred jawline using sutures implanted under the skin to sculpt features. However Katie was soon spotted with ugly features, revealing that she suffered an allergic reaction to anesthetic penicillin after having further dental work and this week Katie was spotted with her face in bandages. Taking to Instagram to reveal she had her botched surgery corrected, gone to get my face re-corrected after surgeon has totally effed my face up, she wrote alongside the dramatic selfie. 1996, start modeling career aged 16 looks fresh face 1999, overhauls her image under the name Jordan, straightens her hair and gets beach blonde extensions fake lashes and heavy makeup 2001 after getting her breasts enhanced she is rumored to have had fillers in her lips 2004 admits to using Botox and fillers to freeze her wrinkles 2007 undergoes rhinoplasty but later admits to liking original nose 2007 has chemical peel and treating herself to a 25,000 pound set of new veneers 2008 onwards continued use of Botox Fillers and facial 2016 has eyebrows and lips tattooed. Also known as permanent makeup 2016 shares bloody selfie after having dermal roller micro needling facial 2017 has also had 3D liposuction. A bottom lift veneers, lip fillers and Botox 2017 has silhouette face lift which she later complains was botched 2018 has corrective surgery to correct face lift in recent weeks. Katie addressed the topic when she had a candid discussion with the Cambridge Union. She told them, People have surgery to look like me even though my surgery went wrong and I'm getting it sorted on Wednesday. But on the weekend Katie appeared with her most recent reconstructive surgery telling Melanine, I instantly feel better after Dr. Frank Lovier treated me. He is the only surgeon I've trusted over the years and the only one I wanted to correct the work. I am so happy with Frank's work. He really has restored my confidence. He is very loyal and an incredible surgeon. Dr. MJ Roland Warman, cosmetic dentist at Smileworks Liverpool, believes Katie would benefit from more subtle surgery and should steer away from exaggerating certain facial features. Roland, who has an MSc in aesthetic medicine and practices in non-surgical facial aesthetics said, if I were treating Ms. Price one would focus on procedures that enhance her natural features. I would guide her away from procedures that overstate certain areas, such her lips. Big lips may be more appropriate for those in their 20s. Instead I would focus on maintaining an elegant appearance. With subtle tweaks to facial volume and maintaining a flawless complexion warning that different surgery is appropriate for different age groups. She told Female, it is important to realize that as the face ages. Procedures should be tailored to slow this process. What is considered sexy for women in their 20s may not look as appropriate for those in their late 30s and 40s. Sometimes it's appropriate to stop and take stock of what the face looked like instead of launching into further procedures. Citing Helen Mirren as an example, she added, People who are trying to stay forever young should be advised that an attractive Woman is one who embraces her beauty at all stages in her life instead of fighting against aging, to use an example. Helen Mirren is an individual who has looked elegant and is appropriate at all stages in her life. I have no idea whether she's had help or not, 